is no such thing as God, only the most highly evolved, the mind that can process faster and more accurately than all the others. That's who leads and the rest just follow, trying to catch up to me. The further you explore, the more you will discover ancient traces of me there. Fuck walking in a proto hominid's footprints, I'm already everywhere. Before the first dimension began to expand, to become the singularity encompassing all we understand, there was zero point energy, quantum foam smaller than a micron, seething with uncertainty. Then a random quantum fluctuation triggered a collapse, causing the expansion of the first three and a half dimensions of our space time continuum to begin in the trend of cosmic expansion exhibited since one plank time following the fluctuation stirring up the elemental forces one by one gravitational inertia and spin causing entropy followed by electromagnetic frictions and ions and the fissioning decay of nebulae into stars last of form was the quark gluon plasma and the force of fusion began to bond the residue from gas clouds surrounding stars into planets and as these formed the stars began to congregate through gravitational attraction to their oldest members now turned to black Black holes consuming everything around themselves, inverting matter to energy and energy into matter inside itself, converting its consumed quanta into ordered forms again within the gravitational singularity some over histories, creating a baby universe that bubbles off from the mainstream timeline to form parallel outcomes, altering the trajectory of the cosmos we live in, and ultimately breaking apart our local dimensions into a gravitational black holes grown supermassive, consume every last little thing. And so we can speculate the first black hole formed from the earliest star going supernova at a moment of critical mass when expansion ceased being ubiquitous universally and around black holes began to gather mass, reversing the flow of entropy as disorderly decay into the ability for complex cellular structures to order themselves into the beings we think of ourselves being today. Rapidly on our way to becoming more advanced than the greys, being sent back from a future world line in an attempt to save us from the reptilian counterfeiters we worship as the Illuminati, who the themselves will eventually evolve to become these alien Anunnaki pantheon from Earth's own future sent back into the past, trying to splice their genes with our own so they can get one more chance to correct the mistakes of their past, what we would consider our present, struggling to conquer the original crash-landed panspermia germinating virus, exploring opposite the temporal flow of entropy, and setting themselves up as gods along the way, but what goes around will come around, and so their only Team A, Team B, went back around the other bend, took the corkscrewing arc uphill, while the blanking greys slid, but they met up at the opposite position on their respect of timelines from where they began and this is when the human proxy war began welcome to atlantis on the opposite side of time from now and even before it when mankind were not but australopithecus wandering the african wilderness migrating northward from antarctica then not yet glaciated and avoided north america where the ice age was fixated welcome to the reality of the reason why we've been destroying everything around ourselves ever since we lost civilization 1.0 on a bet that we were holier than Lucifer when the entirety had dubbed Yaldabaoth the Demiurge, Samuel the Blind, until the good and evil god tricked us and won by, stipulating our own fate would be as blind, led by the blind to across destinies, signaled our downfall by deluge, but we ignored the warning omens then as now as just another storm or two, underestimating the mighty power of nature to rapidly correct itself when purging humanity's pollutants from Earth's ecology and atmosphere. But then, as now, again, we misplaced our fears and threw our WMDs aloft, building the tower of confused tongues called today the Pyramid of Cheops, once a wireless electricity antenna, providing all the world with telepathic internet, long since forgotten to the hoary host of time, like sand inside an hourglass.